In this video, I'll be giving you a bunch of tips on how to get the most out of your Mavic Mini. Let's get started. Welcome back guys, and today we're talking Mavic Mini. How to get the most out of this thing, whether you're looking to buy it, or if you already own this thing and you're looking to squeeze every little bit of performance and value out of it. So we're gonna cover a bunch of random things today, from flight to pictures to firmware and range, all that good stuff, stuff that you might not have known about or you might be curious about. So this is a great drone for a lot of reasons. It's definitely not a professional drone. I don't recommend it for professionals, but it's gonna be great for creators like me, people that are hobbyists or enthusiasts that you know just don't wanna spend a heck of a lot of money or because it's actually under 250 grams if there's a lot of restrictions in your country like there is here in Canada, well, you don't have to go through that rigorous testing and you don't have to worry about a lot of the things that you do when you're flying the bigger drones. So this is a great option. I recommend this fully and completely for anybody just getting into this hobby. So guys, let's dive right in and talk about all these awesome tips and tricks I've got for you. But if I miss something or if you have some ideas or some questions or comments, drop them down below and make sure you hit that like and subscribe button to join the community one thing I recommend if possible is to buy the fly more combo this is going to give you three batteries instead of one and this awesome little charging case this thing's great for a few reasons one it's going to be able to show you exactly how much juice you have in each battery it charges conveniently via USB and of course you get more batteries it also comes with a few more accessories, but this thing actually doubles as well as a power bank for your other accessories like your phone or the controller, and that's really handy to have. Keep in mind as well, if you can't afford this or it's not in the picture, you can pick up a cheap or inexpensive power bank and charge your Mavic Mini through USB. So there's a tip for you just to keep that in mind, but if it's possible, yeah, absolutely. Pick up the Flymark combo, great value there. So one thing that's really important to do is to keep your drone up to date when it comes to firmware. And I mean the drone, the controller, as well as the batteries. If you don't, you could run into some problems like I've had in the past, which is just really annoying and inconvenient. So make sure that when you power up the app and you connect your drone, when you get prompted to update that firmware, make sure you do it. But do keep in mind, if you have more than one battery, you're gonna have to do it for each and every battery. You don't have to just do it for one. If you don't, you may run into some issues. My next tip is equally important, and that's master your controls. It's really important that you become comfortable with flying this thing around because it doesn't have a lot of sensors to keep you safe from trees, from power lines, and all that stuff. So get in there and really dial in custom and fine tune your controls so that you're comfortable. In your menu's control settings, scroll down to stick mode, and there you'll see and change how your drone is controlled. If you're new, experiment with a few to see which one feels best. So you're almost ready to go, but there are a few important things to remember. Don't just turn on your drone and fly away. You need to connect to GPS and make sure there's several satellites dialed in before you take off. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. That's what you want to hear, and you can check the number of satellites on the top right of your screen. GPS helps the drone to stay still, and most importantly, return home when it loses signal. Take off. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. My next tip is gonna save you a lot of time and hassle, and that's just plan out your shots. Do a little bit of research. If you know where you're going beforehand, make sure there's no restricted airspace or things that are gonna get you into trouble and always respect people's privacy as much as you can. Have an idea of the shots you wanna take instead of just flying around aimlessly. This is gonna save you time, storage, and just not being overwhelmed with an incredible amount of footage. So now let's give you some tips on actually flying this drone. One thing that I really recommend is getting comfortable with really smooth motions. Of course, this drone does have sport mode, but there's really no need for the most part to go super fast. You're gonna get a lot more beautiful, smooth, cinematic footage when you're going slower. So I recommend slowing down and really smoothing out those controls. You're gonna thank me later when you're editing in post. So of course, naturally, we wanna get up and fly as high as we can to see as much as we can. But really, that footage can be a little bit boring. I recommend getting low, using the foreground and trying to get some really fast looking footage by staying low to the ground. 
Again, be careful because we don't have a lot of sensors on this thing, but it does make for some pretty awesome footage. You can also try to fly through things. I don't recommend this on your first day maybe, but again, plan your shot out. Use your cage if you have it, the accessory that's included in your Fly More bundle. But yeah, flying through things can make some awesome looking footage as well. Another important tip I have for you is don't fly too far away. There's really no point in flying kilometers and kilometers away. There's just no need. You're gonna increase your chance of flyaways, recovery, and other issues. It's a Wi-Fi drone with not a heck of a lot of range. So again, try and plan out your shots and don't fly too far. Try and keep line of sight. Don't forget that this thing can take photos as well as videos. You can get some awesome photos. And one tip for you is look straight down. You'd be amazed what you can see looking straight down and flying over really just basic normal things. It looks amazing. Because this is an entry level drone and you don't have a heck of a lot of dynamic range or an incredible sensor in this thing, you can take HDR photos by getting your composition and taking several photos and exposing for different spots in the photo. Blending them in post afterwards is gonna give you a lot better outcome. If you want more tips on Mavic Mini photography, here's a video I made. Another idea for you is to take panoramic shots. Simply take a photo and pan to the left or right, taking photos along the way, and then stitch them in post. Now this little drone's pretty good right out of the box with everything that you need, but one accessory that I would recommend to you is a set of neutral density filters. I grabbed a versatile little all day package from a company called Freewell, and because of a lot of the mini settings are automatic, this really helps with the look of the footage, especially when it comes to video. Here's an example of some footage with and without a neutral density filter. You can see that it lets the mini handle highlights a lot better and keep your shutter speed reasonable. Most likely in the set that you choose, you'll have different filters for different situations. One of the biggest downsides of this drone for me is that it doesn't have an active track function. It's still a lot of fun and a great tool for exploring. And my last tip for you is to utilize the quick shot functions. These can land you some really awesome footage while letting the drone do the work. Experiment and be creative. Let me know your favorite tips and tricks down in the comments. And if you like this video, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. If you wanna buy the Mavic Mini or anything that I've mentioned in this video, I'll leave an affiliate link down in the description. And like always, make mistakes, be yourself, and get out there and take some more pictures. See you next time, guys.